So I'm out at the Bachelor's Mill, which used to be a very popular gay bar, and I look across and I see this extremely good-looking guy. I mean, he's like Drake with the thick eyebrows, but put it on a short little muscle body. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going over there. So I roll up on him and I'm like, hey, my name is Daryl. I've never seen you before. And just up close, I'm mesmerized by these big Bambi eyes, but then it gets even better. He goes, oh, I just moved up here from South Carolina, and I am a sucker for that country twang and this big Pete Davidson mouth with all these teeth. I am sold. But I know the bachelor's mill, and it's about to get crowded. And somebody like this, all these guys are going to be on him, and I won't have a chance. So I think fast. And I said, hey, you know, I was about to ask you out for this weekend, but it's a nice night. Why don't we leave here and just walk around the city and get to know each other, and this will be our first date. And he agrees. And I'm just like, Mr. Burns, excellent. <laughs> because I got him away from everybody else. And so we're walking around, and I'm, I'm telling him, I'm also from the country too. And what we're doing is we're talking about how great it is to be here in the DC area and all the opportunities. And then the conversation changes to the things we don't like about DC and that we miss from the country. So he starts off, you know, these city people, they just love these dogs. They treat these dogs just like people, and I just can't be out here walking around picking up from a dog. And I love dogs, but I agree. Our dog, we used to just open the door. She'd go out. She'd come back. I don't know what spark he was doing, but we never worried about it. There were enough fields and bushes. I don't even think she had a lease. So I'm like, okay, I like this. We're thinking the same. And I said, you know what gets on my nerves about this city, one of my biggest pet peeves, is how much litter I see. I mean, I grew up poor, but there wasn't all this trash. I've literally seen someone at a red light just throw a Popeye's bag right out the window, and I just, we agree with that. So I'm like, okay, and I always make sure he's like a half a step ahead of me, because I can look down and see that like bow-legged walk, and I'm like, oh, this is gonna happen. This is gonna happen. And now he's walking, he picks up a piece of paper. I said, oh, he hears me. He's thinking, I like this. And we're walking some more and he picks up another piece of paper and I'm thinking, okay, it's a little excessive because, you know, I don't like liquor, litter, I don't pick it up. But, you know, good for him, I can learn something. And so then he starts batting those little Bambi eyes to the left and to the right. And he looks up at me and I said, oh, I know what this is. He's gonna kiss. So I lean down. He says, oh, I just have to go through the bushes for a second. I said, oh, okay, you know, you just gotta take a piss. So I'm standing there and I'm waiting. And I'm waiting. And I'm wondering. And then I kind of hear some noises and I'm not sure what's happening. And then I hear this grunting sound and I hear this paper and I realize, you got it, he is taking a shit behind these bushes. And I'm disgusted, the hair is up on my neck. He comes back like this is just normal. And you know, I'm from the country, but I'm not a bear. You know, this is not normal, this is not normal. But, you know, I'm polite. So he comes back and just resumes conversation. Now I don't wanna walk behind him, I'm a half step ahead of him. And he is no longer cute, he is no longer good looking. <laughs> and so he asked me about my mother, I tell her she was a school teacher, you know, and blah, blah, blah. And she's, you know, and I, in my mind, I'm trying to figure out my exit plan, because this cannot happen and he is not coming over. <laughs> so I said, hey, you know, it's getting a little late and rather than going back to my place, you know, I'll just see you out at the bar and we'll connect. And he gets real angry, goes, oh, you think you better than me because your mother a school teacher? I was like, no, I think I'm better than you because you just took a shit behind a bush. <laughs> and the worst part is, this is DC. We pick up our shit. Thank you. <laughs>